Yo, what is going on, everyone? In the last episode, I just took a beating to my team, so I thought, hey, I might as well come back to the daycare and see how Terry's doing. Um, I bicycled and ran all the way here, and I would like Terry back. Can I have Terry back, please? Uh, I would like Terry. Terry's level 27, so that's pretty good. <laughs> so even though I lost Lily, I do have um, my own Herdier once again. It's actually still a lily pup, so let's check that out real quick. Terry, right here, um, was in the daycare, but it does know takedown, workup, crunch, and roar. So it's it's not too shabby, and uh, just one level, and it will evolve into a herdier, and it's very close, only a thousand experience uh, left to evolve that guy. So we're not doing too bad um, in the Pokemon department anymore, and also I'm going to do one more thing to get myself a Pokemon, and holy shit, we I ran a long way. Uh, it just helped to uh, evolve or get uh, Terry up even more, you know. So uh, I'll meet you guys in the next place. All right. So the second place I want to go is inside the uh, Nacreen uh, Museum, where I can get my fossil resurrected. So uh, that's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna get a Tortuga, I think. Yeah, I got a Tortuga, and it is probably gonna be like level 20. So we got a walk, uh, rock and water type Pokemon, and I'm definitely going to give that guy a name. We'll name him. Alright, so I got Squirt, because that was totally wicked, bro! And uh, give me some Noggin. Now some Finn. Dead. Alright, so we got uh, Squirt, and Squirt's a really cool guy. So we're going to check out our guys right now. Squirt, level 25. Whew. Uh, Lonely Nature, Aqua Jet, Ancient Power, Crunch, and Wide Guard. Uh, so pretty much a beast. I also have the ability Sturdy, which means he will not be knocked out with a single hit, which is pretty good for Nuzlocke, and my team is looking pretty good now. I'll switch him with uh, Squirt right there, and I got Zen with the EXP share and Lift up there in the front slot, and uh, we're doing pretty good here. So I'm going to train up, um, hold on, I'm going to train up uh, Zen, because Lift and Zen and Terry will be my guys to take on Elisa. Alright, off-screen training, that's going to take a while. But I will see you shortly. Check out this scenery, though. Alright, so we're on Route 5, just to the, um, I think the left of Nimbasa City. Let's check it out real quick. Yeah, we're right to the left of Nimbasa. And I feel like this will be a good place to do some uh, off-screen training. But before I do, I just want to see if I can catch a new Pokemon. And the first thing I find is a Trubbish. So we're going to catch that guy, and he will be a great addition to our team. Come on, Trubby Trubbish. Uh, what can I even do to this thing without killing it? To be honest, I don't know. So I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it. I'm going to go for the Quick Ball, because... Quick Ball? Is that... I think a Quick Ball and a Fast Ball are two different balls, so... This one works if you use it first turn, and we caught the Trubbish on the first try. That's what I like to see, guys. And he is the Trash Bag Pokemon, inhaling the gas they belch uh, will make you sleep for a week. <laughs> they prefer unsanitary places, and they're they're just so cute, and you know, they, they're misunderstood. Alright, so I got Garbage, aka Garbage. And uh, he was transferred to the PC, so I'll go get him uh, later, but first off, I'll do some training. Alright guys, so I'm feeling a change of pace here. Um, I already did. I already, uh, or I already uh, challenged all the gym leaders, gym trainers in this place, so that we can just uh, battle the gym leader right away. I wasn't really feeling it um, in this episode. Uh, change of pace as in a shorter episode here. We've had a lot of 20 minute episodes recently. And uh, here is a shorter one uh, for a change. So basically, this gym is just a huge ass roller coaster, so it's a pretty fun time. And we just get a roll around in it, and there's a bunch of trainers that you can battle. And some of those carts have trainers in them, and uh, you have to beat them before you can get on that um, freaking coaster. Like, this guy just popped out of nowhere, let me tell you. And uh, so I, I battled him. Uh, there are a bunch of rich boys who have uh, Emolgas and Blitzels. Hey, why did that not let me in? That was that was lame. But uh, we're almost uh, to Elisa, and we will give her a run for her money, hopefully. 
I believe uh, Zen is level. Can, let me in there. Is level uh, 26, and you know, um, freaking what's his name? <laughs> Do you even live? Oh, look at that! I was sick. Is a uh, level 27, I think. So we're we're pretty stacked and with levels. We're not lacking in that department, and um, I think this is the final roller coaster that I have to get in. And then, uh, oh, this one's sick. Oh, hell yeah. And here is Elisa, so we'll, we shall uh, battle her, and it will be a uh, fun time. Let's see. Not trying to get on that old bicycle, I don't know what I was doing there. Wait, wrong button. Here we go, going to the Pokemon. Uh, we got Lift in front, we have Terry, that is uh, a herdier now. We have Squirt, Bubbles, Zen, level 26, and Garbage. But you know what, I think I might just use Lift, and if something goes bad, I will uh, switch in uh, Zen. Anyway, here we go. Did that fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. Alright, so this girl means business. She is a model, and uh, you can tell by her appearance uh, that she is not only a model, but the electric type gym leader. She's leading off with her uh, Emolga, as I'm leading off with Lift. Which uh, he definitely does. Look at this guy, he's jacked. Uh, so now, uh, when he's uh, a Conkledor, maybe I'll change his name to Jacked because he was lifting as a as a young Timber, but as he aged, does she have two Emolgas? That's that's lame. Um, she has two Emolgas and a, a Zeb Striker. I want to say maybe she has a, uh, a Blitzel. Who knows? But uh, she's just going for the Volt Switch. She's Volt switching out into her other Emolga, so she's just get damage. She's just getting a whole bunch of damage on them. I don't know if that's the smartest play, but I'm gonna go for the chip away now. As she's probably gonna go for the Volt Switch again, and I don't want Rock's throw to miss, and if she switches out to Zepshika, it will also uh, give him a bit of damage there. Her other Emolga, so she she's just a Volt Switching gal with those flying squirrel guys. Emolga's coming in. And you know what, I think this is a good time to start healing up here. Um, I'm going to use the Super Potion. Get up to about 77 uh, HP. If I was British, I would say HP, but um, I'm not, so. <laughs> uh, the Volt Switch is coming my way. Maybe she's going out into her uh, Zeb Striker now. Whoa, that is uh, kind of scary, level 28. I'm going to go for the Wake Up Slap here. The Volt Switch from this thing will probably hurt a lot more, and it doesn't do all that much, because I do uh, have the Evia Light on uh, on my girder. But she made a good play there. I get the Static now, which is not good. And I can take a Volt Switch from this thing, so I'm just going, going to go for the... Uh... I thought she was going to go for Volt Switch. Damn it, she's outplaying me right now, guys. Alright, so let's see here. If I have a full restore, that'd be sick. I do, actually. I do have a full restore. I'm going to use that on lift, as she probably will go for the Volt Switch, because that's all she's been doing all, all match. And that does, like, 22 HP, so i got to remember that. I've got to remember that. So, um, I'm going to go for the just chip away, because if she does go for the Volt Switch, I can... Still hit uh, emo over there, and that does a good amount. But I feel like the wake up slap will do more with my sheer force boost and everything. Uh, gets the paralyze on me, uh, which is no big deal, I don't think. Oh, okay. Let's go for the wake up slap. Come on. Uh, she does have more than one hyper potion. I was hoping she wouldn't, but it's whatever. She gets a lucky paralyze right there. Whatever, whatever, man. The para hacks. It's all good. She's just going for a quick attack. I, she should be going for a spark or shockwave. Uh, to be honest. And now she's going for the spark. And can I take that? Well, I can. I can take that like a monster. Oh my god, you live with like a negative smidgen. Uh, I'm going to go for the fresh water. Get uh, lift up a little bit more. And as she goes for the volt switch. So not a whole much going on in this battle. Just a whole bunch of switching out into her already weakened Pokemon. And uh, I'm going to go for the Rock Throw now, because at this percent, I think a Rock Throw could kill the Emolga, and regardless if she switches out to Zeb Strika, uh, he will die to a any move, because he's like at 1 HP. 
All right, so Zeb Strike is down. Let's see how much experience we get from that. We get a lot right there. And Emolga's coming in. I'm going to switch out into Zen. Get Zen a kill here. Because Lift, Lift did all the heavy lifting in this battle, guys. Pretty, pretty good stuff right there. And um, this is the end. So she was not actually all that good, which is surprising. I thought she was going to be pretty good, but guess not. Whatever. That's cool. And the Fire Punch killer right there. She gets the static on me. But uh, you know what? It doesn't even matter because she's dead. And we grew to level 27 in this battle, too. Um, not bad stats. I'm liking the attack stat right now. We're about to learn Thrash. Um, but I don't want to be locked into any moves in this game. Because uh, I could probably die, and that would be all bad. And Lift is level 29. Lift is about to learn Bulk Up. And we are definitely going to learn that. We're going to get rid of Low Kick. Ta-da, we got bulk up. Too bad, I don't think Drain Punch will even give me H HP back because I have Sheer Force, but it's whatevs. My oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great China. Excuse me, I, uh, oh here, I want you to have this. Alright, so we got our uh, fourth badge, I believe. And this is the Lightning Badge? I don't know, what, what, what badge is this? It's the Bolt Badge from Elisa. So all traded Pokemon up to level 50 will uh, obey you, and she will also give us TM72 Volt Switch. So I think that's a 70 power base, a uh, base 70 power um, special attacking electric move, which uh, it's a lot like U-turn as you can switch out as you saw in this uh, video. And we are off to Driftvale City next. But uh, before that, we're going to see her on Route 5 for whatever reason. We'll talk to her. We'll see what's going down with her. And... Um, We'll leave that for the next episode, so thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Our team is looking a little bit better ever since Sasuke, uh, Lili, and Hanzo have left our uh, our team because they tragically died. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave, hit that thumbs up button, leave some comments, and uh, I will see you all next time, guys. Peace out and have a great day.